European Nightjar. The European Nightjar, Capromulgus europaeus, common Gutsaker, Eurasian Nightjar or just Nightjar, is a crepuscular and nocturnal bird in the Nightjar family that breeds across most of Europe and the Palearctic to Mongolia and northwestern China. The Latin generic name refers to the old myth that the nocturnal Nightjar suckled goats, causing them to cease to give milk. The six subspecies differ clinally, the birds becoming smaller and paler towards the east of the range. All populations are migratory, wintering in sub-Saharan Africa. Their densely patterned gray and brown plumage makes individuals difficult to see in the daytime when they rest on the ground or perch motionless along a branch, although the male shows white patches in the wings and tail as he flies at night. The preferred habitat is dry open country with some trees and small bushes, such as heaths, forest clearings or newly planted woodland. The male European nightjar occupies a territory in spring and advertises his presence with a distinctive sustained churring trill from a perch. He patrols his territory with wings held in a V and tail fanned, chasing intruders while wing clapping and calling. Wing clapping also occurs when the male chases the female in a spiraling display flight. The European nightjar does not build a nest, and its two gray and brown blotched eggs are laid directly on the ground, they hatch after about 17-21 days, and the downy chicks fledge in another 16-17 days. The European nightjar feeds on a wide variety of flying insects, which it seizes in flight, often fly catching from a perch. It hunts by sight, silhouetting its prey against the night sky. Its eyes are relatively large, each with a reflective layer, which improves night vision. It appears not to rely on its hearing to find insects and does not achalocate. Drinking and bathing take place during flight. Although it suffers a degree of predation and parasitism, the main threats to the species are habitat loss, disturbance, and a reduction of its insect prey through pesticide use. Despite population decreases, its large numbers and huge breeding range mean that it is classified by the International Union for Conservation of Nature as being of least concern. Description. The European nightjar is 24.528 cm long, with a 52-59 cm wingspan. The male weighs 51-101 grams, and the female 67-95 grams. The adult of the nominate subspecies has grayish-brown upperparts with dark streaking, a pale buff hindneck collar, and a white mustachial line. The closed wing is gray with buff spotting, and the underparts are grayish-brown, with brown barring and buff spots. The bill is blackish, the iris is dark brown, and the legs and feet are brown. The flight on long pointed wings is noiseless, due to their soft plumage, and very buoyant. Flying birds can be sexed since the male has a white wing patch across three primary feathers and white tips to the two outer tail feathers, whereas females do not show any white in flight. Chicks have downy brown and buff plumage, and the fledged young are similar in appearance to the adult female. Adults molt their body feathers from June onwards after breeding, suspend the process while migrating, and replace the tail and flight feathers on the wintering grounds. Molt is completed between January and March. Immature birds follow a similar molt strategy to the adults, unless they are from late broods, in which case the entire molt may take place in Africa. Voice. The male European nightjar's song is a sustained shuring trill, given continuously for up to 10 minutes, with occasional shifts of speed or pitch. It is delivered from a perch, and the male may move around its territory using different song posts. Singing is more frequent at dawn and dusk than during the night, and is reduced in poor weather. The song may end with a bubbling trill and wing clapping, perhaps indicating the approach of a female. Migrating or wintering birds sometimes sing. Individual male nightjars can be identified by analyzing the rate and length of the pulses in their songs. Even as singing male may be hard to locate, the perched bird is difficult to spot in low light conditions, and the song has a ventriloquial quality as the singer turns his head. The song is easily audible at 200 meters and can be heard at 600 meters in good conditions. It can be confused with the very similar sound of the European mole cricket. Thanks for watching.